Good morning, everybody, and welcome to the short clip on modeling haunches using Idea Statica Connection. This series initially will just look at some of the basics uh, that you need to grasp to work effectively with Idea Statica Connection. And I thought it what would be better than actually looking at specific workflows or dedicated workflows within Idea Statica itself. So without further ado, let's jump straight into Idea Statica. So what we had here previously is actually in the previous clip, we looked at extending this column. And of course, now what we can do is we can model in our haunches, right? Unfortunately, there isn't a haunch operation, but if you look at operation, you can see that's something that sort of looks like a haunch. There's cut off plate. We have wideness, we have ribs, and that's about it. That sort of hints towards something like a haunch. The reality is the right one you want to use is the widener operation. So I click on widener. You can already see that that kind of looks like a launch. It is on member C. It is related to member B, which is fine. You can actually extend this end plate and let's do that. So let's take this end plate and then I want to extend it. Let's do on 50 maybe. Let's do, okay, let's do 50. All right. That's a bit long, actually. Let's do 200, and that looks quite decent. We go back to our widener. We want to say, actually, that this is related to a plate. This should be EP1. Let's have a quick look. Can we see? There's EP1. Okay, fantastic. So it's related to EP1, which is great. That's what we want. Material is fine. Thickness, we can maybe increase a bit. Let's make that 8 mil. Location. We only we can check what this front looked like and front in this case would be the bottom of the member and you can see it's nice and center there so nothing to worry about there then we have a shape so shape we've got rectangular triangular chamfered and then triangular with flange which is the one we are interested in and there we go that looks a lot more like a launch to me so let's change the width let's make it to 50 Okay, so the width is that parameter. We can make that something like 175, and we can change this maybe to 200. And there we've got our haunch. All right, so you can actually modify some additional parameters. You've got your flange thickness parameter, which you want to make the same. Or thicker, it's up to you. So this is not treating it as if it's an off cut of a member, which would be nice if it could. But you would know very well what the thicknesses are of these different flanges and the webs to adjust this accordingly. All right, now to get this on the other side, what we want to do is we want to check what is our bottom value here. We want to do the same on that side. So extend that one, click on the widener, click on copy. Then, of course, we need to change this member M3, and then it must relate to N plate 2. And there we have got a beautiful connection. So I hope that you found that insightful and that it encourages you to actually really get to grips with understanding the different operations and what you can do with them. So thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed this clip. Please like and subscribe. And if there's anything specific you'd like to see, please pop something in the chat or the comment section below.